Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're on the Bodensee or Lake Constance it's in southern Germany in Baden-Württemberg. Beautiful place to go. I mean the sea and you can see the Alps behind me and Switzerland's back there. And when you travel you're like, oh I want to take memories home with me. And we're always looking for the best souvenirs. We buy paintings and masks to hang on our walls, all kinds of stuff. So it's easy to find stuff you want to buy. But what shouldn't you buy when you travel? And that's why today we have five things you shouldn't buy when you travel. All right, now the first thing you shouldn't buy for when you travel is don't buy presents and things for other people. Now, yes, get something for your mom or your wife or your husband or things like that, your kids, yes, but what'll happen is if people know, like for example, we're going to Munich, I told people that, and they're like, oh, can you get me one of those funny hats or could you get me a beer stein? Well, the thing is, a liter of beer stein weighs a few pounds and takes, it's like this big. And I'm like, well, I don't really have a lot of luggage space. And they always follow with this, oh, but I'll pay you for it. Regardless if they pay you for it or not, it still takes up a lot of your luggage and you don't have enough space and so you end up taking more stuff back for them than yourself. So kind of refrain from getting things for other people if they ask. Also, if you're thinking, well, I've got to get something for the cleaning lady and I've got to get something for my friend and I've got to get something for my mom and 20 other people, what you end up doing is spending more money on gifts for them than you do actually on yourself. I made this mistake. My brother has some of the coolest souvenirs from around the world. I got crap for my first few years of doing this, okay? And so really what you should do is if you want to get stuff for people, send them a postcard. Because look, I'm thinking about you when I'm here, you send that postcard, they have the same amount of happiness that if you give them some little, you know, cheap little gift. Oh, I got you a little uh, Matryoshka, a little doll from Russia, or I got you a little, a little horse from Sweden. They're like, oh, thanks, and they end up throwing it away, okay? So the best thing, send them a postcard and keep your luggage for yourself. I know it sounds mean, but you know what? Don't kind of refrain from buying presents from everybody. Get it for the important people. Like, I got stuff for my boys and my wife, you know, but I don't have things for the second trash man that I have that comes every other Thursday. Okay, so just know that, okay? Because it takes up a lot of your space and you don't need to do that, all right? The second thing I recommend not getting is the little tiny, like, cheesy, cheap souvenirs you're spending two to five to ten euros on. You know what? Save your money up. Instead of buying a lot of little things, buy one good thing. Okay, like what we do is we buy paintings or we buy masks from these places so we can hang them on our wall and keep using them for a long time versus these little things you get for five euros here and there that after six months you're throwing them away or you get home you think, what am I going to do with this? Try to stay away from those things and save the money up and get a little better gift for yourself because then it's something you're going to enjoy every day. I love going in my living room because I've got paintings from all over the world hanging up there at our kitchen table. We have the masks from all over the world above the kitchen table and it's like I get to have a little adventure and a little reminder of my travels each time I go in my house versus all these little tiny things that I you know sit in a dust collector in you know a box in the basement. Okay so try to refrain from those because you know what you're, you're going to get rid of them in six months anyway. Okay. Now, the third thing you shouldn't get when you travel is traditional clothes. Yes, I know it would be really cool to have a kimono from Japan or you know, I made the mistake of buying a whole Australian cowboy outfit made out of leather. Yes, when I lived there with a the hat and a, and a coat and all these kind of things. Oddly enough, there's not really a lot of, you know, Australian cattle ranching, sheep ranching clothing needs in central Illinois. Okay, so it was really, I spent a lot of money and it's something I never use. So if you're thinking of getting your later hosen and things like that, are you really going to use it? Yes or no? And ask yourself that. Because if you are, then go ahead. But if just one of those things, I think I should get it because I'm here, think about, when am I going to use these things? Because the traditional clothes, they are cool, but they are very expensive and you're probably never going to use them. So that would be the third thing I recommend not to buy. Now we're going to move into kind of like general suggestions on things to watch out for when you buy. The fourth thing is when you buy bulky stuff, big things out there, big heavy things. If places can ship it, go ahead, buy it and have them ship it for you because you, you don't want to deal with overweight luggage and all this stuff when you travel. It's a pain in the butt, so have them ship it. If they can't, think about it. Do you want to carry a chandelier around Germany or do you want to carry, carry you know, a cuckoo clock everywhere? You know, think about these things when you're traveling. So if you're going to buy a bulky thing, maybe buy it at the end of your trip at your last city so then you're just going straight to the airport and then you get your car at home otherwise think about these things because you might end up carrying something for two months while you're backpacking that you just don't have space for okay so stay away from that another thing I recommend against is food now not all foods because a lot of foods you know you get chocolate and and pasta and stuff like that you can take that home you know the dried stuff but people that try to take meats and vegetables and and fruit and cheese and stuff like that you can't take that back to the US 
it's illegal. The dogs will go woof, 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 and then they search all your stuff, and then you go through the customs thing, and you miss your next flight. Okay, so if you're going to be buying food, buy food that's already been packaged together, sealed up, and things like that from the grocery store, and you'll be okay that way. Otherwise, do expect little Fido to see you at Newark Airport or Chicago and say, hey, we need to open up your bag, okay? So those are five things I recommend not to buy when you do travel. Now, what you should buy, well, think about the things that you like. You know what, and if you have a, a little snow globe collection that you may say, well, that's kind of a cheese ball thing, well, then go ahead and do that. But what I'm saying is just be smart about the things you buy because everything you buy, you gotta carry with you, okay? Well, anyway, I hope that helps you travel more and get some more cool souvenirs. What kind of souvenirs do you like to get? Like I said, we like, you know, we buy like 10 Euro paintings from street performers or street artists and have like $40 frames on them and these masks. What do you collect, okay? What do you go when you travel? What are some of your mistakes and not mistakes you've gotten. You know, we've, I've got plenty of mistakes like my Australian stuff. Anyway, if you want more travel advice, you know, seven blunders that travelers make or the biggest rip-offs that happen or, or ways you're going to get, you know, uh, scammed while you travel, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. Also, if you like travel videos of five things you love and hate about Germany, ten things that'll shock you about visiting Europe, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you get new travel videos every single week. If you go down there and click that little button down there, subscribe, you're going to get them all the time. Anyway, I hope you have a great time traveling and I have a, hope you have a great time shopping. Remember, you can always window shop. You don't always have to buy, though help out the economies and do buy some things, but I'll let you make those decisions. Anyway, I'll see you later from Bodensee or Lake Constance here in Germany. Bye.